Hey, good morning. It is Saturday, the 23rd of September. I am back out here in the camp. Uh, at least one more time. Well, it'd be nice if it was just one more time, but I'm thinking it's going to be two more times. Goal for today is to get this, what's remaining of this pile out. I hauled a lot of big stuff out yesterday. We just, just ran in, sorry, just ran into the park ranger who was loading up all the stuff that I, I hauled out, helped them to load a big piece and get that out of there. And uh, they're all grateful for what I'm doing and I appreciate that too. So um, the challenge with all of this stuff is really this, Side. Somebody left a little bag of change here, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. But inside of this container here is a whole lot of very heavy, uh, it's all tent poles and other pieces of long metal. I'm going to break that down into, if I have to, if I can, I'll haul it out in, in buckets, but I'd rather haul it out in things that can be thrown away. So I'm going to try to sort through some of these containers, see what will hold stuff and what won't. And uh, try to make my haul out as efficient as possible today. And efficiency doesn't mean as few trips as possible. It means the fewest trips that break my back possible. <laughs> so uh, I was feeling it pretty good last night. Got home, realized I hadn't done grocery shopping in quite a while. And uh, had to go out and get groceries and... And I haul them up the stairs into my into my place and put them away. And by the time I was done that, my legs were done. And uh, it was there was a moment in the middle of the night where I was like, "I'm never doing that again." But I'm back here again, doing it again. So yeah, uh, the heavy stuff is just hard. So I'll try to split this up as best I can. I'm gonna set up a camera so you can watch me haul this stuff away. So. If you haven't seen this before, I haul it about halfway out. It's, it's an eighth of a mile all the way out. Um, so halfway out is an eighth of a mile round, round trip. Uh, but then I can take a break, give my arms a break, so it's not carrying stuff the whole way in one shot. Get it part way out and get rid of it. Um, today I am also going to tape shut these two uh, containers of sharps. So one last look at what's in here. So this is full of sharps and a sharp container. Like it's not pack full. You could get more in there, but, and then this one is pretty full as well. I could get a little more in there, but that's, that's all from this camp. So, um, if I find any more, I've got a, uh, uh, tide bottle over here that I'm going to pull back out. And I started putting stuff into before I realized how many were here. I'll pull that out, set it off to the side, and use that for any other areas that I find. If I find stuff that won't fit into there, I'll use one of the other buckets and just, just do it that way. But I want to get these sharps container buckets out of here so nobody knocks them over and has something stupid with them. And then uh, go from there. So I'll set up the camera, and you can watch me walk away from you, and then walk back, and then walk away, and then walk back. You get it.
Okay, got the pile halfway out, so it's at my stopping point. But uh, it's all out of here. Just have to haul out my buckets. I'm gonna get rid of this red one. The handle's all bent and, and the bucket's all misshapen, so it's not as good for picking as, as the others. I'm gonna keep the blue ones that I found because I can always use more buckets and they're they're just fine for, for doing the bucketing thing. But I see a big piece of plastic I missed back here. Hang on one second. They're bigger. I'll do a, a formal walk around once I get everything out of here, probably tomorrow, uh, if I come back and do the, the other spots, but I'm going to keep on hauling the rest out, uh, set up the camera, you can watch me pick it up and haul it away again. I'm not sure, I think that was 17, 18 round trips, so that'd be a good walk for the day. I'll catch you in a minute. up for the day that was about just over two and a quarter hours I think get all of this stuff out some of those things were a lot heavier than I thought they were gonna be just awkward and my things are sharps here the side and then just stacks of odd stuff so I honestly don't think there was Anyway, I could have done it more efficiently than, than the way I hauled it out there. 
maybe one less trip. I think it was a total of 18 trips. Time I got all my stuff out. So that was, I think that's about a quarter or equivalent to about four and a half miles of walking, <laughs> carrying that stuff. Well, two and a quarter carrying it and two and a quarter going back for the next load. So that's it for a second. But that's it for the, the big camps. Uh, as you can see, the, the stuff, most of the stuff I hauled out yesterday was gone. Like I said, the, the ranger was here picking it up. He just had a, a partial load of a couple of things that he was probably waiting for me to finish up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, obviously I've gotta go back in there and, and finish up to the west and the south of the camp. Hopefully tomorrow, uh, depending on how I'm doing on my energy level. Um, yeah, I'll try to get, a, get some good videos of of what it looks like now in there with everything out and then compare that to what it looked like before. It's going to be hard to, to duplicate and run side by side or anything like that, but I'll, I'll dig out some of the old video and show before and after, uh, maybe in tomorrow's video with a wrap up or, or a follow on and I'll, I'll get you all the numbers on what I hauled out and how long it took. Yeah, so anyways, that's not the end of the series. There's still more to go in there. This was just the end of those two big camps. Uh, lots, a couple more trips in there at least. And uh, I'll get those out when I can. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this one, please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Comment down below. Have a great weekend.